Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Radio Show. I want to wish everyone a very prosperous and blessed 2019. I'm so excited to have our second interview of the year, Um, a lovely, lovely woman um, who has so much to offer to the community. I met her recently at a fundraiser, and uh, I'm so honored that she has um, allowed us to be part of her incredible journey. So I would love for you to meet the founder of Children's and Parents Empowerment, CAPE. Please welcome Melissa Hood to the show. How are you doing today? Hi. I'm great, thank you. Thank you for having me, Nikki. Oh, thank you. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. So let's get to it. I'm sure the audience would love to know a little bit about your background leading up to the founding of CAPE, Children and, Children's and Parents Empowerment. Yes, yes. So I am a black and native woman. I'm a licensed paralegal and a mother of three sons, one who is autistic. And now I am an advocate for parents, children, and caregivers within education. You know, I have faced many obstacles as a parent advocating for my children, but especially when advocating for my child diagnosed with special needs for eight years. I fought with doctors and teachers to recognize what I knew, that my son needed different and special support to learn. During Mm -hmm. the time, my eldest son was suspended several times, starting from preschool age. At the time, Mm -hmm. I was fighting to gain support for my children. I was fighting for our freedom from domestic violence, which led my Mm -hmm. experiences to be published in an article with S&J Magazine regarding the Me Too movement. And later, this article was turned into a women's diverse documentary called What About Us, being released in March 2019. You know, I have experienced what it is to be a single black mom, facing multiple barriers, feeling alone and targeted because I am perceived as a failure in my ability to discipline or provide for my children. Too many people working within the education system were quick to turn me away or ignore me believing me to be a stereotypical angry black woman and my son to be an angry black boy. I felt the teachers and school administrators were punitive with my son and actually wanted to see my son out of the school instead of succeeding in school. I feared for my children because I felt that we were being criminalized from a young age. I'm mm-hmm. being, I was being threatened to be, have the police call on me when I would express my disappointments with school staff. It's not until recently I've learned about something called the school-to-prison pipeline, but that's exactly what I felt my children, especially my eldest son, was being pushed into. Similar to many families, I didn't have the knowledge about my rights or my children's rights in education. This lack of access to services and resources kept families like mine recycled in a pattern that shames and blames us without actually offering any substantial support. As a parent, I felt helpless and alone, battling a large system that kept, that kept telling me that my children and I were wrong. This changed when I met trustee Tiffany Ford. Later, I soon found out she's not my children's trustee of the school. Therefore, thereafter, I met Sylvia Argentina Arroz and Nia Singh from a hot legal services through the Plud Project. This changed my, ch- my children's lives forever. These individuals believed in me, believed my experiences, believed my children, and I deserve better. Feeling supported, I was able to empower myself to pursue my purpose. Having my own advocate or advocates even gave me strength to know that I can create change within the education system and grow in self-advocacy. Having this support led my son's record being cleared of all suspensions, which were eight his special education needs being properly met through an action plan we co-created and led me to continue to keep creating CAPE, which stands for Children's and Parents Empowerment, the Hood Advocacy and Education Movement Organization. Mm -hmm. My goal Mm -hmm. is to establish a building full of services and resources that are working to support families across Canada and the U.S. and make them easily accessible for parents, caregivers, and children navigating the education system. CAPE is a one-stop shop of resources meant to educate the community about their educational rights to healthy and supportive learning environments. One building, one website to help parents and children navigate through the education system within every community on every block you see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. 
<laughs> it's phenomenal. Melissa, you know, you really are an inspiration. And uh, I have to tip my hat to you for, you know, the courage to speak up. Yeah, because many of us have challenges, but it's like when that challenge comes, um, do, you, do you make that bold move to assert yourself and to um, get what you deserve, or do you sit back and just let things happen? So I'm, I'm really proud of your, um, your, your, your way of, of taking things at hand and getting the right supports that you need and, and really bringing this to light because it's an issue with so many parents. And I'm sure parents uh, may have gravitated to you with similar stories, but, uh, you know, if you didn't say something, wouldn't know where to go and who to find. So it, it really is um, remarkable. So thank you for everything you're doing. I think because at one point in my life I was sleepwalking and I was mm. walking in blind and I didn't know, right? And as soon as the statistics were revealed to me over a hundred page and there's new statistics that are being revealed and they're not being released to the public. They're withholding this information and how they're targeting us within the education system to class us into groups. So I had, Mm -hmm. once I woke up and I had a a, a team behind me to guide Mm -hmm. me and say, no mom, you're right. We need to do something about it. I just Mm -hmm. ran towards the light. I just ran because if we keep doing this, it's like a revolving cycle. It is. And we're losing our it kids. Is. So I had to do yeah. something. But thank you. Yes. You know, and, and it's so important because parents like yourself, you know, parents need to be champions for the children. They can't passively allow a system or just, you know, educators mm-hmm. to, to groom them. Um, they, we mm-hmm. have to really uh, take charge of their education, and it starts from home. So it's a very important uh, part of growing up. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I agree. Awesome. Well, you know, you must have grown so much on so many levels, spiritually, mentally. How has this transformed your life? In less than nine months, this has uh, transformed my life in many ways, like I was able to rewrite my life, rewrite my children's Mm -hmm. legacy. I now accept who I am, my talents, my strengths, my experiences as vulnerable wisdom, and I continue to advocate for my kids successfully. I continue to fight a system that aims to hypersexualize me as a sentinous choked up, simultaneously profiles me as just another angry black woman. But mm-hmm. I don't, I'm not here to cause problems. I'm here to find a solution. I'm a passionate mm-hmm. mother. I, I'm very headstrong, and I'm about real change. I'm not about sitting back and watching my kids keep falling through the cracks or seeing other children fall through the cracks and seeing where their lives end up. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm just tired of it. So me stepping into my purpose and realizing where I came from and where I'm headed, it doesn't make me. I have to do something about it to help other families recognize, you know, what what can their children's future look like if they choose to be an advocate and become a part of their children's education. Because, again, it starts from home, and then the next institution is school. And that's how we form our children in society. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so we we set the blueprints, and then, um, you know, the, the environment comes in and it, and it can taint that blueprint. It can make or break that blueprint for the child. So we really have to take stock and to, um, to, to manage the children our way. And, and I'm just so proud of how you've, you know, taken charge of that. So good on you. So let's talk Thank about you. what's going on right now. You, you have uh, so many amazing projects, but um, I can imagine that, you know, you have a lot of involvement in the community. Um, anything that we can um, look forward to, like any upcoming events that maybe we can help to collaborate with you or what's going on, Melissa? Um, so currently what is CAPE is doing in the neighborhood is that I'm finding government grants to host different events around the GTA area and to get informed, accomplished individuals who are also about change um, as panelists and 
come and speak to our community, speak to our parents, speak to our children, and educate them and inform them um, how to take action within their children's education. If we do this as a community, we can uplift those who are speaking out about the link between discrimination within the education system, suspensions, expulsions, and criminal, criminalization and incarceration of our youth. This will hope to protest a, I'm hoping, on the provincial and municipal level of law to amend the Education Act and how it should be applied to our children in school from JK to grade 12. I saved my family and I want to be able to make a difference in others you know, who are struggling, who have been struggling um, with advocacy, advocacy in school. So I'm here to offer tools, resources, opportunities, relationships, brave spaces for communication and men- mentorship to, to support them. Because as a mother, I have feared for my son's life. As a, I witnessed him become increasingly hurt by the treatment of others, mm-hmm. his teachers, uh, to the point where suicidal comments were spoken. I know this level of sadness in my son would have not occurred if he felt Mm -hmm. welcomed and supported in school from day one. Mm -hmm. So I want Mm -hmm. Kate Mm -hmm. to help build an educational system where students, self-esteem, mental health, and suicide prevention are critical goals of the curriculum. I want Kate to aim to heal the fracture within the education system, preventing any more of our children falling through the cracks. Kate will interrupt this harmful legacy of violence against marginalized and racialized families and pushed insert resources to support and strengthen families facing systemic violence. So supporting and empowering parents, caregivers, and children and learning their rights and options will promote alternatives, behaviors, and actions that see too many color of people pushed out of education and into the path ending in prison, homelessness, gain involvement, or death. Nikki, mm-hmm. like... We're going to and, and then repeating a repeating a cycle that they were pushed into, you know. So it's it's really yeah. It, it is it's such a lifeline that you're creating to to bring yeah. them back, uh, reel them back, reel them in, and to reactivate um, the mindset that it's really a village that raises raises a child, not just one or two or three. Everyone uh, has a positive voice to affect change uh, for their children. So that is so important. Yeah, definitely, because right now it's like this business model is also around targeting families, even including poverty, because poverty is, is, is a huge factor right now. It's like those are the kids mm-hmm. who are falling into these, these demographic um, statistics. So finding an outlet and then a place for them to turn to, to find answers, to inform them, like, you know, if you are knowledgeable, there's different avenues that people can, you know, self-discover and uplift themselves and not become yes. part of those statistics, you know? Absolutely. So definitely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Well, Melissa, I, I, I'm so uh, thankful that you've had some time uh, to, you know, give us some uh, incredible wisdom. And um, we really appreciate the time that you've had. And, and I want to uh, invite the listeners to know more about you. So where can people reach you on social media? Well, they can find me and follow me on my Instagram um, at Mrs. Cape. So MS dot underscore the acronym Cape, C dot A dot P dot E. I do have an online petition within my bio. So if people feel the need to support the petition, that'll be amazing. I also have an email um, at um, children and parents empowerment at gmail.com um, if they want to receive the link to the online petition. And this online petition will, pre- will be presented to the government officials when we reach about 1,000 signatures. And this is just proof to families of Ontario we need change within the education system and as well the U.S. because I got the congratulations from the, the U.S. trademark office that there's nothing like this in the U.S. Mm-hmm. So I'm very humbled and I'm very thankful that I'm able to bring this to the U.S. because Even worldwide, there's nothing out there for parents and children, and I want this to be worldwide. Melissa, uh, congratulations. Uh, Thank you so much for creating this movement. Thank you so uh, much for creating a safe haven for uh, children and their families uh, to grow and to prosper. So thank you very much. Um, 
you've been listening to the Nikki Clark Radio Show with our very special guest, uh, the founder of Children's and Parents Empowerment, Melissa Hood. Um, she's in Toronto, and uh, now she is worldwide. Um, she has a, a documentary coming out um, uh, pertaining to the Me Too movement called What About Us? Uh, that's coming out in March, and uh, she is uh, heavily involved, frontline um, working with families in the communities of Toronto. So please reach out to her on social media. Uh, she is a vibrant woman with a lot to share about uh, turning um, our lives around, starting with our children first. So thank you very much, Melissa. I do appreciate you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again face-to-face at the Nikki Clark Show Live. Awesome. Thank you for having me. It was such a pleasure. Um, all the best to you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye now. I thank you too. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.